ready, chap. Okay. All right, welcome to Daniel's Mill. Um, the name Daniel is a bit misleading. There's never been anybody actually called Daniel associated with the mill. The name Daniel comes from a, a corruption of the original name of the mill, which was Doinings. Doinings meaning in Old English, apparently, the people who live on the high ground. So it would have been a mill that served, served those people. And over the years, that's changed to Daniel's. Uh, we believe that there's been a mill here possibly from Norman times, 1066 and all that. Uh, but for sure we know there's been a mill here from the mid-1500s. Um, gradually been developed over the years and the current state of the mill, as you see it now, dates from the mid-1850s. And the final bit of redevelopment that was done here was the installation of the large wheel, which occurred in 1854. Uh, we still produce flour here, uh, which we sell both to our visitors, and we've got an increasing number of commercial customers that use our uh, traditional stone ground whole milk flour for uh, biscuits and the like. Uh, the wheel itself is made of cast iron. It was cast in Coldbrookdale and brought down the river in pieces and assembled in situ. Um, it's 38 feet 10 inches, it's roughly 14 metres in diameter, which makes it the largest uh, water wheel driving uh, mill uh, in the UK. Uh, it weighs 40 tonnes, um, but only produces about uh, 5 to 10 horsepower, so not very much by modern standards. So this is a very fairly coarse flower, and uh, what I'm doing here is to feel how coarse it is, is what the miller would have done. It's the uh, origins of the expression, the rule of thumb, testing the quality of the flower using your thumb. So here we can see a mark on the wall indicating the uh, height of the floods in July 2007 when this part of the Seven Valley had some pretty horrendous flash flooding. Um, the mill building itself survived and the wheel, uh, but unfortunately the water courses, the ponds, some of the surrounding buildings were badly damaged. And so extensive was the uh, damage that the family had no choice really but to put the mill into trust, uh, which allowed the uh, trust then to make applications for funding and such like that would not have been available to a privately run mill. So that?